It's super pleasurable. Paul Behrens, Deputy Chief of Staff for Congressman Dana Rohrbacher, attended Shen Yun Symphony Orchestra on October 14th at the Kennedy Center Concert Hall in Washington, D.C. He said it felt like paradise. It's beautiful. It's like being in heaven. Listening to the music is so impressive. They're very talented. It's, it's a great way that they've meshed the Western and the uh, Chinese tradition. It sounds wonderful. Very pretty. It's incredible, just incredible. I have I used to play the violin, so I understand what kind of what level of professionalism they're using here. It's just amazing. Very touched. It puts me in a higher place, very high place. I, you know, I saw the uh, the ballet a couple of years ago, and I had the same reaction. Ancient Chinese believed that culture and many aspects of it, such as art and words, were gifts from the heavens. This belief played a guiding role throughout society. In the 1960s, the communist regime in China tried to wipe out traditional culture. According to Shen Yun, the artists value virtue and cultivating self-refinement in order to create art that can uplift and inspire. The evolution of the culture, 5,000 years, the development, and, and it's so sad that it's been lost. And I, and I know that you, the, you're trying to bring it back, and, uh, which is a great thing. And we need more of that in this country. I think what it does is it, it opens up your mind to the idea that China could be a force for good. We're kind of brainwashed here thinking that China's bad. But China doesn't have to be bad. And what we're seeing today is that China could actually be a great and a good thing for the world. It's just that the ideology right now is uh, not so great. I know that the Falun Gong have very honorable intentions, and they're wonderful people. And um, that's why I'm here today, because I support that. NTD News, Washington, D.C.